And I think we're live. Hi, Lynn. I'm going to give it, I'm about a minute early. I'm going to give it a minute and let some people come in. Um, let's see, while that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and grab some stuff that I was doing in design space. <laughs> Hey, Cindy. Hey, Shirley. Hey, Linda. Hi, Gail, Ann, Dawn, Janet. Just going to let me save this and we're, I'm going to play the intro and we're going to get started. Hi, Mary Lou. Hey, Gail. I see a lot of you are starting to enter that Falling for Cricut giveaway. Guys, do not forget. It has to contain iron-on, and it has to, uh, you have to post it according to the rules into the group. So make sure you guys are doing that. It is super simple. It's a little bit to read, but it is really easy. If you need help, reach out. I am happy to assist you with it. Hi, Diana. And this is our calendar. I know I told you guys last week that I didn't fill in on um, Thursday and Friday yet. Um, and I don't know that I'm going to be live on the 29th and 30th. I have, um, I've had a death in the family and I will be uh, getting ready to go out of town to that service on that following Saturday. So um, I'm not going to be able to go live on the 29th um, and I do apologize but I will put out a file for you guys a freebie file uh, that will be coming um, you can tag me in at dawn and I'll take a look at it so if you've entered just tag me and I'll look at it for you and I'll let you know if something needs to be done Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Um, childhood cousins, we grew up together, and uh, it's hard, but I, I'm getting through. So, that being said, um, this week I will be releasing, today's the 22nd, tonight I'm just going to be showing you guys how to use some of the new product, and Whatever files I do tonight, I will save and give you guys. Um, tomorrow, I know that one of the new products is Glow in the Dark. 
I did not have time to set up my project uh, for that because of everything that's been going on this week. So I have to design that tonight. So I promise you I will be doing a glow-in-the-dark vinyl and iron-on video for your freebie file tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow. Look for the glow-in-the-dark. Tonight we're going to talk about opaques and watercolors and I will do um, another video strictly of the opaques late uh, next month uh, at the first of the month so that you guys can get more ideas other than what we show you tonight on um, using the opaque pens. That being said, um, chat games eligibilities that I can't even talk right now. Um, if you have won a physical prize in the last 30 days, you are not eligible. If you have won a coupon code in the last 30 days, you are not eligible to win a coupon code. If you have won one but not the other, you are eligible for the one you have not won, if that makes sense. That's basically what that says. And as I told you guys, this whole month we've been doing this and kind of working out the kinks and things like that. Um, I'm still going to have to make some changes to it next month because as changes come to me as a product expert and things I can and cannot do, I'll have to make changes to it again. Um, another adjustment coming. So just bear with me while we settle in on our uh, chat game uh, thing and we will, we will play it by ear as it comes. But tonight I am going to be giving away a paper pack. I'm going to be giving away a vinyl pack and I'm going to be giving away, I believe, let me double check before I open my mouth. Um, yes, a tool pack. So a paper pack, a tool pack, and a vinyl pack, as well as a $50 Cricut coupon code. So four prizes for tonight. Um, that I will be giving away. And as this states, if you are a winner, um, if it's a coupon code, you just need to email me. And if it is for a prize, I need your mailing address, physical address, please. And you will have to email that to me, please, in the next 72 hours. You're in Canada. You have a hurricane coming. Uh, Fiona missed us. So it, it hit Puerto Rico, but it missed us. I'm in Daytona. So um, I've been watching it too. You guys stay safe wherever you are. All right. That being said, if you do not know if you are eligible, please just ask and I will tell you when your eligibility date is for the prize or uh, coupon code. Hey, Ann. You snuck in on me. I missed you. Hey, Helen. All right. Don't forget, guys, to check out the current sale. Right now, it's the warehouse sale 70 up to 70% off. Guys, if you do not have a Cricut Joy Machine after today's uh, fall product release, it's on sale for 99 bucks. And if you have access, you're going to get another $10 off on that. Uh, so I would snap one up. The links are down below in the description of the video. Any one of my Cricut links will take you over to Cricut. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you click. Uh, but guys, grab that Joy Machine if you do not have one. It is a great portable machine for quick, easy stuff. Yeah, the, the new product is awesome. It really, really is. So let's, let me pop overhead first and, and cover a couple of those. Um, these are some of the cards that I did this week. If you are a Patreon supporter, I, so I don't know. I, guys, I really, I've had a really scrambled week. So I don't know if this is a supporter file, annual supporter file, such as that. If you look in my profile. If it's there, you know it's a freebie. If it's not, you know it is a supporter file or an annual supporter file. But this is the Halloween one I did with some debossing on that. And guys, I talked talk to you last week about 
how you could do this if you don't have a maker machine. You can use your scoring stylus to do this. It may not be as deep, but you can do it. And then, of course, I had to make some sympathy cards. So I think I shared this one publicly. And I used some vellum on there and foiled that with the foiling tool. Did some foiling on here and debossing. So, and print and cut. So you got a little bit of everything on that one. And this one had some foiling on it. And guys, these can be this can be changed up for any occasion. Just because I use sympathy on it doesn't mean that's what you have to use it for. Change out that sentiment. Make it a happy birthday. A just for you. Just because. Um, hello. Thank you. Any sentiment you want to use, you can use on these cards. It doesn't have to be a sympathy card. But look at that foiling. Isn't it gorgeous? And you could do this like in the teal colors with the teal foil um, and the teal uh, craft board. You can, you can do that and make this a gorgeous birthday card. So lots of things you can do there. Hey, Kathy, I'm glad you made it. You just miss the intros and that kind of thing. You can you can work back uh, on that. So getting to the new product, guys. We're gonna tonight. We're gonna concentrate on the watercolor cards and the watercolor pens. Also, but if you have questions about any of the new product, just ask. Okay, just ask. I'm happy uh, to to cover that with you. But out of all the stuff they released, the main thing that I am the most excited about, and you, prob you guys are probably going to laugh at me, is the opaque white pen. I have begged for this for like six years. I'm like, please, 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 let's get a white Cricut pen, and I got it. <laughs> so I am ecstatic about it, and the reason why is I love the effect that you get. Now, I used the Cricut Foil Craft Board and Cricut uh, White Cardstock. And it just says, your kindness is a treasured keepsake. And then I used the white gel pen on there. And I used some foil, silver foil craft board. And the navy blue Cricut Cardstock. This is out of everything... This and the glow in the dark iron on are my two favorite things of everything released. But isn't that gorgeous? Came out so pretty. And I just added some enamel dots to my flowers. Uh, and I think those were close to my heart. I'm not going to swear to it, but I think they were. And Judy Barron's LaRue, she's one of our moderators and one of the admins in the group. She's a close to my heart consultant if you don't have one. You can reach out to her. She'll help you. And I don't know if Glinda's here. Glinda is in her upline, so she can help you too. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Uh, that that's the my, this card is my most favorite thing that I have made in the last two weeks. That is my most favorite thing. But I'm kind of partial to the watercolors too now. I love the watercolors. Now I did a little wax seal. I don't know if you guys have those or not. You can get those at Michael's Hobby Lobby. They all have those. I just put mine on with a sticky dot. I don't put it on the paper so that I can do this and, and store my card for later so that it's ready to go. But I love, personally, I, now I did this a couple of ways, and you can do these in different ways. And I did this card just a few minutes ago intentionally. So, and I didn't leave my book on this, so it kind of warped. But I, we're going to cover that. Um, I haven't finished this. It looks a little off-centered, I know, but a sentiment is going to go down here um, when it's finished. Uh, so, there are tons of things that you can do. And I just want you to be aware that when you're picking images for your watercolors, they can muddy really fast. So you'll want to practice. And if you're you, I would use the Cricut uh, watercolor card sets for my finished project. But if you need to practice, if you've never done any kind of watercolor before, I'm going to suggest that you get some scrap watercolor paper or a small pad 
um, from Michaels or Hobby Lobby. It's probably not going to be the same great quality that this is. It, it'll be close, but it's not going to be as good as this, okay? And you can practice on that, and it's going to help you learn your water flow and things like that. So, uh... Yeah, I will I will use the white more than the other colors, but the other colors are gorgeous. As a matter of fact, I had blue dots under this, and it was pretty too, but I wanted to go with the white dots on there. But we're going to talk about that later too. So when you're picking your images for watercolor, be very careful. And, and anything that's really crowded like this, you're going to have to be super, super, super careful. And I apologize. I apologize. My husband forgets that I go live on Thursday nights. <laughs> uh, so, um, um, well, if you actually buy, Linda, if you actually buy the, um, the wax that they sell, it's a different kind of wax than candle wax because it's not even sticky. <laughs> My husband, let me turn my phone off. Um, so make sure that you are, um, that you use the actual wax that they recommend. Or if you're scared of that, Linda, you can get the glitter glue sticks. And if you're going to use glitter glue sticks, I suggest that you get a glue gun, one of the cheapy dollar store glue guns to use that glitter in because you're never going to get it out of that uh, never going to get it out of that glue gun and you can use glue and stamp on it so if you're worried about it melting in the summer just do that and it won't melt <laughs> shouldn't get that hot enough to melt that but um, yeah there are a couple of ways to do it and you can notice that I didn't stay in the lines on this and that's intentional because personally when I do watercolors I like to do more abstract one moment please please stop calling I'm live thank you <laughs> there there we go because it keeps ringing my watch <laughs> um, but you're going to um, you want to make sure that you don't get it muddy and you want to choose your style okay so if you want more abstract, go outside the lines and the, stay close and keep it dark and then pull that darker area out. And I'm going to show you that as well. These are pins for all the machines, Diana. Um, they come in two different ways. You're going to get them in the ones for your Explore and your Maker. And you're going to get them for your Cricut Joy. So... Whatever machine you have, you have the pens, as well as the opaque. The opaques also. You don't have uh, one of the colors in the opaques, and I believe it's green. But you have the yellow, blue, orange, and pink, and the whites. So if you have a joy and you buy get all the colors, you're going to end up with two of the white pens. But the opaques come in a pack of. Uh, five pack of five and your watercolors are a pack of eight well it's actually a pack of nine because they count the brush as one so it says nine in there but it's eight colors in one watercolor brush thanks Linda and, and it, again, it's going to come down to technique, and I've got my mat set up, so get your 2 by 2 mats as well if you're going to be doing watercolors. So I have my mat set up, and it's ready to go. Uh, I just have to figure out the size. So we're going to go over to Design Space, and we're going to actually draw one, and, um, and I'm going to show you how to watercolor it. And I'm only going to do a single color on one, and then we're going to do one that's a double color. Um, so just uh, bear with me while I get over there. Okay, this is the one I've set up for opaque. We haven't, I haven't chosen my image yet because you guys are going to help me choose my image. Let me just save that, 
and let's go over to my projects and right here this one all right um, so I went and I found these balloons and I'm just gonna cut that or copy it you can do whatever you want I'm gonna save everything but I'm going to go over to projects because I want to show you guys that you can come in here in all your categories and you can search watercolor cards they have added something um, I have to look it up I believe 45 new image sets or 48 new image sets um, and tons of images could you deboss and then watercolor yes you could you could um, and also you can use your black pen over on some of this if you want to get more detail you can use your black pen and then watercolor over that your extra fine um, do and and it would be gorgeous hi Christine um, oops I ran it together there we go watercolor card and you can see that they are starting to load images and you've got several sizes lots of fun things I'm gonna make this one with beach on there and then uh, at the on the inside I'm gonna do something about Christmas Santa has gone to the beach <laughs> but lots of fun cards and they're still loading stuff so give it time things that are showing out of stock in there guys at the just give it time let them get everything loaded up everything should be loaded I think they said um, around 10 p.m. tonight everything should be complete I hope but we're gonna do this succulent card on the square so I'm gonna hit customize and I'm just gonna replace and then I'm just gonna paste my balloons in there with it oh I said I was there we go so now I have my balloons because I want to show you guys a couple of simple cards and uh, something that's easy to do with combined colors and with a single color. Would I show you the technique of using the black pen and then the watercolor pens? Sure. So we can do that with this one. And I am just going to hide that layer right there. Don't need it. We're going to come in here and you're going to go to your pens and you're going to go to this is purple. So we're going to go to markers, which is already on a marker, so that's good. And we're just going to scroll down to the bottom, and you'll find your watercolor pens. And I'm going to change that to a purple watercolor. And I am going to leave this as a black extra fine. I'm going to bring that in, extra fine, black, right there. This is a pen. I am going to bring that and make that marker and go down to green. And then here, I think I was the one that changed these to marker because I didn't get finished. And I'm going to do that one as red. Now, you want to see using the combined. I think I'll do the combined on this one. So I'm going to duplicate that. And I am going to change this to extra fine black and align center and attach all right I want actually let me undo that I have to check it see which way it's going to do it let me hit make it and I'm going to do a card mat and I'm going to do this on S40. I'm going to do that on square. Let me continue. You want your, I want my black to be drawn first and then my, I mean my what, my black first and then my watercolor because I don't want to damage my pen. Um, watercolor cards and <laughs> green and then black okay it's got the green and then the black 
Let me cancel. Let me tr see something. Let me. I'm I'm trying to see which way I stack those to, if it makes a difference. If if you guys are wondering what I'm doing. Uh, no, I don't want to cancel the code. Okay, load the green watercolor pen, and then coming up black. I don't want that to happen. So let's cancel. Yes, cancel. And I want to detach. Detach. I'm going to drag that one down. I want the green on top here. It's opposite, I think. Let me hide that. Make it. And let's go to a card mat. And continue. Doesn't matter which card right at this moment. I just want to make sure that I want my black to go first. Watercolor cards. You'll browse all materials and search watercolor cards, and there we go. So whatever's on the bottom is going to go first, and then the green watercolor coming up. So make sure that if you're going to do it, that you set it up that way. Ah. So just so it makes sense, whenever you're going to use your black pen and your watercolor, make sure that your pen is underneath it in the layers panel before you send it over. Okay? Linda, it should be uh, coming up around 10 p.m. It should, everything should be loaded. Some of this stuff is already loaded, but not everything. So make sure that you're, you're checking that, okay? So now I'm going to, we don't need that layer. I am going to hit make it and we're going to select our mat on a card mat. I'm going to select the S40 so that it positions itself and I am going to hit continue. Now myself, I like to, you can write directly on the card and have your sentiment going right on there. Um, let it, that connect. I'm going to pop over and show you what I mean really quick. You can have your sentiment to write directly on here at the same time that you do your card. That's why I left the black for the balloon lines. Or you can just do this and then come back later and do a sentiment that's popped up on the top like I did here so that you have some dimension on the card. Um, that's what I prefer, but you can have your sentiment written directly on there. All right. So if you don't have your saved as a favorite, you're going to browse all materials and you're going to search watercolor. And then you'll see that you have heavyweight color, watercolor paper and then your watercolor cards. And that's the one you're going to select. Okay. I just have mine saved to favorites because I've been playing. So now I've got position one and two and I'm using square cards. That's all I can use. So I am going to, because I've already got one square card loaded here, I wasn't sure what I was going to use. I'm going to go back and edit this, and I am going to move this down to that position so I don't have to move the card. And then I'm going to put my other one here. Just say done. And let's put a square card on there. And we're going to place that in. Make sure you get it in there and get it straight. I am notorious for having mine wonky. There we go. And just fold it over. Super easy. All right. And now we are going to load our black pen, which I have my black extra fine is what I'm using. And if you're not sure if you're... Uh, uh, I'll find a way to hide it. If you're not sure if it's going to smear whatever pen you're using, you can do a touch of it on on a, a scrap or something 
and then do your watercolor line over it, okay? And then you're going to use your pen or your water and go right over that, all right? So super easy and simple. And I don't know if some of my black is coming off on there or not, but I like the look of it. So test whatever colors that you're using. Now, if you're using the Joy, you have a permanent marker. So um, it depends on the look that you want. Why can I only do square cards, and Because you can't mix and match when you're doing your cards at the same time. Whatever you have on your mat, whatever you send to the mat, they all have to be the same size. Okay? So I could do either four R10s, four R20s, four R40s, or four S40s. Because I have these two on the mat, I can't use these two spaces because it won't line up right. So I am going to actually, for time purposes, Guys, I'm, I'm going to not do the black pen, but I just showed you basically what you do. Um, oh, I'll go ahead and do it. Why not? We'll do a spin the wheel while, I'm, while it's going. But you can see on the mat, all four cards there are all four squares. So you have to pick which one you want to do. That's why you can't, you can't mix it. You can mix and match your images, but you can't mix and match your sizes. Well, that was weird. Oh. I don't know how I did that. There we go. It's back. Yay. All right. So I'm going to do it. This is wanting me to load the, load my red pen. First, my red watercolor pen. So let's grab that. I'm going to load my mat. Make sure your star wheels are in the center of that mat. And my red watercolor. We're just going to pop that in the machine and hit the C for go cut. Yeah, if the black is water base, it will bleed. It has to be an alcohol base. I'm just going to let it air do it. And that's what I said on this one. Where did it go? Oh, it looks like it bled a little bit, but I like the look. It depends on how wet you're going to get it. Um, but you do have your permanent markers with the Joy. Okay. And these are oil-based, so you can do it with the, those. All right. So we've got our red one in. And load the black. Now this one isn't touching, so it won't matter. Uh, I don't think. It's going to do all of my black pen, I'm pretty sure. I might be able to grab it before it gets to the other one. Okay, I grabbed it out, so it's just air doing it on the succulent, so it's not bleeding. <laughs> All right, so while that's going, let's go over and let's get Nightbot to play in the chat. Remember, if you've won in the last 30 days, you are not eligible. This is going to be for a vinyl pack. And you must be in the YouTube chat to uh, do this. So, um, Nightbot's going to tell you what the numbers are, so make sure that you're reading that, what Nightbot says.
Pick a number between 1 and 20, Nightbot said. Nightbot will also choose the winner, so... Joyce, the weight of the watercolor paper is 140 pound cold press, 300 GSM. Hey, Corinne, you slipped in on me. Hey, Kitty Mae. You can pick, keep picking the numbers, guys. It's a pick between one and twenty. Nightbot will, Nightbot will choose a um, winner. So. You had to have been active in chat, too, in the last three minutes. Joyce Burton won. So that's who he picked. Joyce Burton. Yeah, you picked it. It was just slow. It was way up there. He was right. Congrats, Joyce. You're getting a vinyl pack. Send me your mailing address, your shipping address. Um... To April at craftingwithaprilco not com dot co. Congratulations! And now it wants me to load the green watercolor pen. I'm going to pop back over so you guys can see. Green watercolor. The watercolors are uh, 1.0 uh, pens. And somebody asked me about the uh, weight of the paper. Who was that? Yes, Diana. Uh, when you're when Nightbot's doing it, you can you can keep picking numbers until so he announces a winner. Somebody asked me, and I it was you, Joyce. Okay, Joyce asked the um, watercolor paper is 140 pound cold press. Now I pulled a sheet of my. Canson watercolor paper, and now I've lost it. There is a color difference. Um, this is what most people use, or what I used to use a lot when I did my watercolors. And this is also 140, and it is cold press. Um, there is a texture difference. And there is a slight color difference. I'm going to pull a card out here so you guys can see. I'm telling you the quality of these cards, uh, Cricut went above and beyond. But you can see there's a slight color difference, but there is a major texture difference. hope that will pick up on camera. It's kind of hard to see because white reflects. But this is a lot smoother, and this has some texture to it. So this one's going to give you a pretty or finished dried look. Kitty Mae, we are working on some watercolor cards. These are new product, and I'm going to show you how they're used. Um, I'm doing two different ones: one in a solid color, and one in a in one in a multicolor. 
And if time allows, we're going to set up a card to use the opaque pens with. Um, but if not, you're going to. I'm going to release this file to you guys tonight that I uh, for the one I've already done. I will be releasing that tonight. That file. Now, when you're doing your pen, guys, you're just going to take the top of this off and you're just going to fill it with water, okay? I use bottled water, but you can use tap water. And I'll tell you why I use bottled water. If you leave the water in here, I don't recommend it. You can. I don't recommend it. But I had, I'm in Florida. Um, before I was in Georgia, it was very humid. And if you're using tap water, sometimes your uh, tips can mildew. So you want to be careful of that. Okay, you want to be very careful of that. I don't like to store mine with water in it. I like to let it dry because it only takes a second to put water in it when you need it. With the Cricut pen, you don't have to squeeze it constantly. The water will come out at the rate that it, it should be coming out for your pens. And you can see that it's very lightly coming out. But if you feel like you need more water, you can give it a squeeze and pull that, pull more water out. Now I didn't, I didn't completely finish this card um, because I wanted to pull more orange, but I didn't want it, my card to get too wet. And then to clean it, you just wipe it off, and you can see that there's no ink on the bristles, none at all. Okay. Sometimes you'll get a little bit of ink on there, but you won't get a lot. And now it wants my purple pen, and we'll be done really quick. And then we're going to color some of these. Now, I suggest, guys, and this is just from past experience, when you're doing your watercolors, don't put your envelopes with these yet. Because the moisture from the card until they're dried can uh, glue your envelope shut or to your card. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> but you want to be very careful of doing that. So when it comes out, you see it's very, very easy here. I'm just going to remove these two cards from the map. Just going to fold these back. And this one did not center, but I'm okay with it because my sentiment's going at the bottom of this. So double check that when you're going to do yours. So you have your, your cards. Let's start with, make sure you put your caps on and you store them. I store mine with the point down. Um, they didn't tell us one way or other, or if you want to lay them flat, that's totally up to you. But I like mine with the point down. So we're going to start, I'm going to move this stuff out of my way, and all I've done, I've got water, I just give it a little squeeze to see how much water's coming out, uh, just from experience. If you don't have enough water, you're going to give it a, a squirt. Yes, you could also spritz this with a spray bottle and, and get a totally different look. You, you would, you're going to be amazed at some of the things you can do. So you're just going to take that and start with any color that you want. And you're going to touch the, the line, and you're going to start dragging that color, okay? Start dragging that color. And I kind of want mine ha to have a light area in it. You don't have to completely fill in, guys. You can make this as abstract or as pristine as you want. This is, it, It's your, your watercolor. So I'm just going to bring that in and maybe I want it to be dark there and light at the rest of it so I'm just going to start dragging some of this and you see I'm not squeezing I'm holding on to this white edge up here is where you squeeze I'm holding on to this I'm not squeezing any water out of this at all if you want more color just go along your line of color and I, I'm intentionally going over this area right here 
several times without pulling from over here. I'm intentionally doing that because I wanted to show you. So say that you did this and you pulled a little bit more ink off of there than you want and lost some of your definition of your little line here. You can just bring your marker right back in there and go right over it and bring some more definition and color back in there. You can let it dry and you can lose you can use your um your glitter gel pens on the top as well. So you're just going to do that and I'm staying in the lines here and it's really tough for me to do. I'm more of an abstract. I don't I don't care to stay in the lines on watercolor. But you can see you can get that shading effect like you do with um pencils and pens, the more that you drag into that, the better it is. Now, if I want to go lighter on the inside, I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of water out there and give myself a lighter area. If you feel like you've got too much water, you can take something and just blot it. So now I have, you can see where, hopefully, I've got that lighter area in the center. Super easy. No, you cannot use the watercolor pens with any cardstock. You do not want your, I trust me, this was really, really, really wet. And it started to come through a little bit, but I was really heavy on the water. But if you do them, you won't have that bleed through. Okay? If you use regular cardstock, it's going to pill up on you. And I'm saying pill like P-I-L-L, pill. Um little balls of paper and it's going to um, soak through to the other side. So again, you want to be very careful. I got this extremely wet, very, very, very wet, very heavy with the water and it started to come through just slightly. But when it's done properly and lightly, it will not come through. So I'm just squeezing it and wiping off that red. You can see I don't have any color on there. And then I'm just going to go in and do the same thing with my purple one. Just going to pull all of that color. And you don't have to color the whole thing. You can have some white areas on there, like I did with this one. And that gives you a better um, effect of it being watercolor to me. I, I just, I like that effect. And again, I'm not squeezing it. It is allowing enough water to come through there for me to work with. No need to, to squeeze it whatsoever. If you get into a big heavy area and it's dry and you feel like you need to, then you can give it a little squeeze of water. And again, I want to go lighter on the inside, so I'm, I'm squeezing a little bit of water there so I can get some movement out of it and pushing some of that color back away. And I'm not an expert at watercolor or anything like that, guys, so I mean, you can, you can look up and see what some people do when they do watercoloring. And lots of people have tips and tricks. Just because you're using the pens don't mean you can't use the same techniques that they use with watercoloring. And I think I'll leave that whole white spot right there. Something. you can see hopefully let's see I have a white area there that I didn't even touch with ink I kind of like that but personally and I'm gonna do it you guys know I'm gonna do it I I like the abstract I just love it I I, I like the look that I get
and I'm giving it a little squeeze here because I'm covering such a broad area and spreading it out, but it's it's a very gentle squeeze. I'm not I'm not trying to get water to gush. Okay? I kind of blend a little bit right here. And remember, the wetter that you get this card, the more that it can bow and, and come up a little bit. But you're going to let these dry with, um, you're going to let them dry on, under a book or something. You're going to blot it and let it dry. But you can be as messy or in the lines or... Whatever it is that you want to do with this, you can you can get do it your way, okay? So I can go back in and I can make this lighter if I want, give it some more water, and get that lightened up if I feel like it's not light enough. I can go in here and add more um, red. To my balloon, and I think I just drip my green over there on it. Um, you can go back in and add some red if you feel like it's not dark enough. Just kind of follow those lines. And spread it just a little bit more. Super fun and easy, and then you can add your sentiments, all that kind of stuff. Now it needs to dry. I like to dry mine between, just open it up so that the water's not soaking into the back of your card, um, or evaporating into the back of your card, and then I just kind of sandwich mine, and these are my cutting plates for my cutting, my uh, like your cuddle bugs and your Sizzix. So I'm just going to leave that in there, flattened out, and let it dry overnight. You can use your Easy Press or a hair dryer, but you, you can get some warping if you do that. Yes, Cindy, it, it's, it's very fun. I, I love it. I love it. But I'm just going to go through here and do some, in these heavy areas, I'm just going to go light with this. I'm not I'm not squeezing any water. I'm down here at the white part of the barrel of my water. And this is what I mean about not covering your whole area. You you're going to get some really great looks. And again, when you're doing larger areas, you might need to give it a little squeeze. But you don't have to color the entire thing. So you guys have seen how I do those. I'm just going to, I'm not going to keep doing, I'm not getting any water. There we go. There we go. Just give it a little squeeze if you're not getting any water. I like to, like with this one and with these, I like to go in and pull color on these lines and then come back. That way it gives some of that darker color to soak in, and then you can play around with it and drag it and get lighter areas. This won't take long. It's only one color. And we'll do another drawing, and we'll go and we'll set up the file for the opaque.
Does anybody have any questions? Any more questions on the watercoloring? Oh, I love that. Just going to clean off my brush here. And I'm just squeezing water and wiping it on. A, this is just a Kleenex. You can use paper towel if you want, but sometimes paper towels have lint. And so get the color off of it. And then just, and I store this with my bristles up if, I, if you're going to leave your water in there. Isn't that pretty? Again, you you can you don't have to color every single little section of it. You can leave some white space and get a great look. All right, and that one's going to need to dry as well. So I'll stick it under there here in a minute. So let's talk about the opaque. But first, let's do another drawing. Let me get back over here. And this one is going to be for the paper pack. Way to go, Diana! Diana won the paper pack. Diana, make sure that you send your mailing address to me at April at craftingwithapril.co. Congratulations. And I need to write this down or I'm going to forget. So we have the paper pack for Diana. And Joyce got the vinyl. All right. And then we have the toolkit I said I would give away and the $50 coupon. All right. Just had to make sure of my notes. Let's pop over to Design Space and take a look at um, doing some watercolor. I have time tonight, you guys. I usually try to keep the lives around an hour. If you guys are good with that, we're going to go over maybe an hour, hour and a half. If you uh, don't mind sticking around for another 30 minutes, totally up to you. Um, and we will we will cover these tonight. Let's see. I'm going to get done here. And we're going to come over to... There we go. Don, you can you can win the coupon code, so don't don't fret. If you're in Canada, you can win the coupon code. Um, we just did Kitty Miss Kitty. We did the uh, watercolor cards. Now we're going to. I'm going to save this and make it public in case you guys want it. Um, but they are just basic images in design space. Uh, let me. Share. Nope. It's going to let me. It's not going to let me do this one because I started with that one. I have to do a save as and do it. So. But you you found you saw how I found it. It was watercolors. So let's go back over to my projects. I can make this one public. Um, in case you guys don't know how to add a photo, you're just going to click on Edit Your Project Details, select your photo. You're going to hit Open, and then you're going to do your tags. I'm just going to do one in here for now, just so you guys can see, because you need to know how to share a project. And I'm just going to hit save. I'm not going to worry about the tags. And then right here, make it public in Design Space. 
you can't have anything uploaded and you can't have anything um any uploaded fonts either any system fonts it has to be cricut fonts so that one is in there and i just shared it so you guys will have that one and let's go over to this one i pulled some images for you guys on these for the opaque pens i haven't really selected anything i like this one from jen goody right here but i also like this with the palm leaf that would be so pretty with just maybe a sentiment on the top of it uh, done on a dark green paper with the opaque pen that would be pretty but let's just go ahead and just for time purposes let's just do this one and i will do this you guys pick teal red or navy blue or black a dark color card stock what do you guys want to see this I, I do have a pink a dark pink here i have every color card stock so you name it and we will we will do it um I have this pink, I have a dark red, I have a black right here on hand. I also have um, let's see. I have a navy blue. I have this plum. Teal, navy, teal, dark red, black, black. I guess that's black, black. We've got several requests for black, so we're going to go with black. All right. So let's pop back over and we're going to bring this down. Now you would go at this point and select the pen. Of course, you're going to size it. Um, and you're going to go into your gel pens. And they're not loaded yet. They are supposed to be in there by... 10 p.m. tonight, guys. So, but if you didn't go to Michael's and grab a pack, you're you're waiting on your order anyway. Um, so I'm just going to select silver. I'm we're gonna improvise and, and pick silver for this. And I'm gonna do this on black. So you can get a little idea of what it looks like. Now you can see when you go too small, so you can lose some detail. So make sure that your images that you're selecting, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Because your gel pen is a 1.0 uh, tip, you need to um, you need to make sure that you're doing a good image selection. And what I mean by that, I'm going to just say that we're going to put this on a five by seven card base. So let's just five by seven if I did one panel and then did another panel just gonna say I'm just gonna say 3.75 by 5 we'll make it for joy users too so this would be my top panel and then I might have a panel under that and then my card base um, so I would have to decide what color I wanted that and probably go with a white on here. If I was going to do this in black and do a black and white card, which is probably what I would do, I would probably do some black background on that. So let's go and I'm going to pick a couple of images and show you what I mean by your sizing. Let's do a bicycle. I know there's one in here. Let's change our operation type to draw only or cut and draw. And 
And where is that little guy? I love to use him for an example. And I don't see it. There it is. Love using this image. So I'm going to grab that and add it to the cart. And now let's do background. And backgrounds can be many things. So if I was going to do that image, maybe I pick this for the background. So when you change your pen, and we're going to come in here and we're going to get that one millimeter tip, and let's just change this to gray. Look what happens to all that, or I'm going to say black. Look what happens to all that detail. You lose it. Okay? So if I get smaller with it, the smaller I get, the more detail I, I lose. So that would end up as a big glob. You have to be very, very careful when you're selecting your pens. So that image would really only work for an extra fine if it was going to go on something large. Is everybody understanding? See how I got my detail back? See how big that has to be to get your detail? The pen you choose is going to change what that looks like. So make sure that you're selecting something that's going to look good and that you actually change your pen instead of doing this and saying, okay, that's going to look really good on there. I'm going to go with that. And then you get over here and you don't change your pen. You don't do anything and you just send it over and then your result, you don't like it. And that's because it was set at a fine point. But if I bring that in as a gel, and I'm going to do that in black. See how dark and heavy that is? It's not going to work well. I can stretch it out, okay? I can stretch it out and just let it draw on my cardstock and then cut the section that I like. Let me see. Um, so I would only, it would draw that on that big, area but this would be the area that I'm using so you can you can attach it that way and let it draw outside your lines and get a nice background for it um, or you can shrink it down and get that heavy 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 pen effect um, but I I personally I know I would not like that so if I were going to do this and put this on bring this to the front put this on the front to do a black and white and then put my cinnamon at the top, to me that would be just be too much. It would be too heavy down here. I would most likely on this one use my extra fine black. And now I'm going to get a much prettier image for this to sit up on. Okay? So that's what you need to really take and look at what you're going to do. Not at this time, Kathy Ann. Um, don't know if it will ever, but at this time, no. Cricut doesn't discuss their roadmap with us. So that one, can get it just a little bit up there. So I'm going to do that one on my fine. I'm going to attach it. I'm okay with this square being up there. Nothing's going to write up there anyway. So I just want to make sure it goes over the edges of my card where it's going to cut. So there's my base, and then this piece is what I'm going to do from the gel. I'm not going to do the whole card here. Maybe we do... I want to make that a little bit smaller, maybe. And now we do maybe a sentiment... Banner. Flip that. I don't know why I like it for mine to go that way a little bit better. That's a little large. Okay. And I would probably do that in the black as well. 
and what would we want that to say? I would probably do an offset on that too with maybe some foil um, poster board or craft board. Let's see. About happy birthday and draw or cut and draw yay thank you Shirley for inviting her yes um, so this would be a black and white would be kind of formal looking so that one's not gonna fit on that banner I picked but this one will let's just go simple Not liking that one already. I haven't even got there yet. I'm going to unlock this since that is taller. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to change it all together. Let's do this one. There we go. And... is showing my black pen up there and I didn't know which one was which. So I used my color sink. I'm going to unlock that and just kind of stretch it. Maybe just a little bit. That's too much. I would probably just pick a oval or something. That's not going to work for me. Oh, what if we just do this? And then we could add some sequins or Nouveau drops off to the side. I like that. So then I would change this to the extra fine, and we're going to attach that too. So now we have our back, and we have our, our panel, I should say. We don't have our we don't have a liner panel and we don't have a base, but we have our main ones. So I'm going to save this. And I'll make this public too. I'll leave it as opaque live in today's date. Yay, Kitty Mae. Uh, using the pens are great. I'm going to do this one after. I'm not going to, because this is going to take a while to draw. But we're going to do this part of it so you guys can see. So once I have it on there, I'm going to do it on a mat. We're going to hit continue. I'm going to find my mat. Now, when I do anything on black or navy blue paper, I, let me get to the overhead. I use intricate cardstock. Intricate. There's a reason. Um, so I need to load all of that. I'm going to leave that on intricate too. And we're ready to rock and roll. So let's go to the overhead. And while this is drawing, we will do a drawing. So I have my cardstock on there. Black can be very fibrous. It's one of the hardest cardstocks to cut in any brand. It doesn't matter. Um, the fibers, I guess, for the dye and everything, it does something to the fibers, and it can be tough. So when you're cutting black, I try to use intricate every time. We're going to use our white gel pen. I'm going to bring this over. We're going to load our mat, and the pens now, instead of having an arrow on them, guys, they have a pinpoint on them to show you where the mark is. You just want to insert that the same way, just like you did, so that it doesn't show once it's into the pen. 
All right, so let's do another drawing. I'm going to do this one for the tools. This one is going to be for the tools. Don, Don Walsh has won. Yay, Don. So, Don, send me your shipping address to April at craftingwithapril.co and we will get that out to you. And this is almost finished drawing. Yeah, if you're sending too fast, it will. That's Nightbot. I don't have any control over it. Nightbot picks the winners and tells us uh, what the thing is. Sometimes it can be a keyword. Sometimes it can be numbers. I did tell it tonight to just do numbers. That's what happened to you, Diana, when you won. <laughs> Yeah, you can't send too fast. That's to keep people from doing like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and going real fast. It's not going to let you do that. So that makes it fair. <laughs> I am just so in love with that. That is gorgeous. And we are at 88% drawing. I got my broken phone back. It's all fixed. My camera's fixed. <laughs> you can't win on that one, Dawn. Okay. Why can't you win on that one, Don? You haven't won before. Why are you not eligible? Ah, okay. Dawn's in Canada, so she can't win the tools. So I'm going to let Nightbot do it again. If you were in Canada or if you've won in the last 30 days, please do not participate. Way to go, Shirley Bangs. Swirly Shirley won. And we have our image. I just pulled it right out of the mat there, guys. It, I forgot to show you guys. You just want to pull your corner back and let it roll, and it will come right out of there. So I'm going to grab a sheet of white paper and start this one so while we're playing our games, we can be setting up. I'm going to use my extra fine on this one. Now this one has some circles in it too, so I think I'm going to add some of my enamel dots while this is over here drawing. My next drawing, so Swirly, send me your mailing address, dear. 
And I am going to, let's see. Uh, that one's kind of big. Oh, let's see if that one's too big. Oh, I like it. I'm going to put that one there. I don't have any more of my little ones. I need a tiny one. You could do colors on that too, but that defeats the purpose of the black and white if I do that. <gasps> oh, look what I found. <gasps> Lots of goodies. I get these from close to my heart, guys, the black and white ribbons. I don't know if I've got any more white enamels. I use a ton of those. I do have a black. Oh, it's a small one, though. I don't have a small one. I guess I better place an order with Judy. <gasps> Look what I found. <laughs> There's a small one. Three is good. That would have been cute with the black ones on there, too. I should have went with the black ones on this. Too late. I'll just save these off to the side in case. Get back up there. It'll not gonna stick to anything, not even my finger. Ah, I left the sticky on the sheet. There we go. That's okay, I'm gonna stick with the white ones for this one. We're almost done drawing on this. But Dawn, you can win on the next one. So, while that's going, I have a scrap here. I'm going to do, what did I say that panel was? 3.75. I'm going to cut this at... And I'm, I'm going to cheat. I'm not going to cut this on my machine. I'm going to cut this at four inches by five and a quarter. And... So I need eight and a half. Just trim that off. Oops! I hit my thing and knocked off my trimmer head. And I don't know where it went. It went flying. Oh well. Let's see. More than one way to skin a cat. Did anybody see where that went? It was there, then it was gone. There it is. I mean, I knocked the whole thing off. There we go. 
sometimes I cheat four it needs to be five and a half five and a half tall and it needs to be eight and a half long and we we have a card guys that quick that easy oh no not that easy it didn't cut because I accidentally changed my line to pin that was smart April I changed my cut line to a pin Has anybody else ever done that? Louise, you didn't catch that when I did it. <laughs> See if I can do this by hand with a guideline. Maybe. It's been a while. Reminds me of our old days before cricket. All right. <laughs> You're easily distracted. All right. So here we go. We've got our black panel, and I didn't cut that right at all. Cut that down. What did I do? There we go. All right, so I grab my art glitter glue, and I will stamp a sentiment on the inside of this card, or either I will print something on a piece of vellum out of design space and glue it to the inside for my sentiment piece. And then we'll put this piece down. Blue dripping somewhere from that. And let's do some foam tape. Oh, it didn't draw happy birthday. I ejected it. That's what it did. It's sitting over here flashing at me. I wasn't paying attention to what my machine was telling me it wanted to do. That's okay. I can stamp happy birthday on here. You guys, make sure you let yours write. It, for some reason, thinks it had two different pens, but I selected the same pen, I thought. And I'm just using a little bit of thin foam tape just to bump this up a tiny bit, not a lot. Guys, you're going to love these watercolor pens and these um, opaque pens. I'm telling you, you're going to love them. All right, so I have those. Peel those release liners. It should say happy birthday up in the corner, but it doesn't. But Oh, well. really doesn't have to say anything up there on the front. It can be plain. And let's place that there. And 
And since I didn't do happy birthday, I'll just put a bow there in the center instead of to the side. How stinking cute. It doesn't have to have a cinnamon on the front. You can say everything on the inside. <laughs> yeah, it's sitting here flashing. It wants me to put my um, mat back in. It says 89% drawing. I'll show you guys what I did. Oops. It wanted me to change the pen, and I ejected the mat. That's what it did. It should have cut that off for me. Because that image right there does have a line. Oh, cancel. Yes. Cancel. That's what it is. It does have a line around it. But it would have cut it off because of the way I set it up. But I just didn't eject the pen. Hmm. Let me double check this before I share it with you guys. Uh, I did not change it, or it didn't change. There we go. Now save as. And I'll make this live in design space for you guys. Maybe. I'm not even going to tell you guys what I've done now. There it is. <laughs> I lost my keyboard. We're going to draw for a $50 coupon, Cricut coupon. This is for USA and Canada, unless you have won a Cricut coupon from me in the last 30 days. And you will need to change that pin once they load, guys. You'll need to change that pin uh, up here on this one to the opaque so that you remember to do that in opaque. And, of course, make your base pieces and you're good to go. Or use the pre-made bases out from your drawing machines. I know things keep disappearing, uh, Shirley. It's so weird. All right. I love it. Love, 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 love. So now we've done watercolors tonight. We've done the opaques tonight. And um, I just did white opaques, but you do have color opaque pens too. You do get the colors as well. And they're very pretty. Um, while we're drawing, I will write on, I will use some of the opaques and write on the, um, write on a piece of black paper so that you guys can see. I should have separated these before. There's the blue. There's the pink. There's the yellow. You've seen the white, and we have the orange area. I knew I were in there somewhere. You guys are punching in numbers, and, and Nightbot hadn't even told you to yet. <laughs> you have to wait on Nightbot. You have to wait for him to start it. <laughs> Yay, Melissa! Melissa Montes, you won the $50 Cricut coupon code. Congratulations. I see some opaque pens and watercolors in your future. <laughs> Nightbot announced it, guys. It's up up there above you guys, right above 
below, between Mary Lou and Ann Powell. And yay! So let me write that down, Melissa. Melissa, I will need you to email me so that I can email you the instructions on using the coupon code at april at craftingwithapril.co. All right, guys. So I've made those files public, these files public for you guys. And these, um, this one is just an image and design space. This is an image and design space. This one is set up for a card in design space, this square, and this one that I've got drying in here, where it should be dry, was just an image in design space. So you can just search balloons on that one and, and find it if you want it. But you can see that it's drying nice and flat, okay? It's, it's going to depend on how you dry them. These I tried to dry fast, one with my Easy Press Mini and one with my uh, uh, blow dryer, hair dryer. So make sure that you just let them dry on their own between a book or something like that and they will be flat. All right, guys, congratulations to our winners, Diane, Joyce, Shirley, Melissa. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Greatly appreciate it. I will not be live next Thursday, but I will pop out a couple of files for you guys. Uh, again, I have to attend or get ready to go out of town for a um, memorial service, and we will resume everything in October. I do have... Um, I will be going out of town for four days in October, so it may interfere with a live there, but we will cross that bridge when we get there. Thank you uh, guys for joining me. I know this was a little bit of a long live, and again, I know that a lot of you are excited to see the glow-in-the-dark vinyl and the glow-in-the-dark iron-on, and I am working on that tonight, and I will have a recorded tutorial to pop out for you guys tomorrow, a freebie file for everybody. So make sure that you are got your notifications turned on here in YouTube so that you get notified as soon as that video goes live. You guys have a wonderful weekend, too. Happy crafting. Thank you to all my moderators and admins. Greatly appreciate you guys. And all of my supporters and viewers, greatly appreciate you all. Happy crafting. Mm -hmm.